Hi all, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to study auto key cipher. So let's get started. In the previous video, we introduced polyalphabetic ciphers. An auto key cipher is one of the many polyalphabetic cipher. So let's understand this cipher in great detail in this video. Let's start with the definition of the auto key cipher. As we have seen in the previous video, in a polyalphabetic cipher, we represent plain text, cipher text, and key as a stream of characters rather than a single unit. So here we represent plain text as P1, P2, P3, where PI is the ith character of the plain text. Here the domain of the plain text is Z26. Similar to the plain text, we represent cipher text as a stream of characters represented by C1, C2, C3, and so on, where CI is the ith character of the cipher text. Here also the domain of ciphertext is Z26. Now let's look at the key. So here the first character is K1. So what is K1 here? So K1 is a secretly agreed predetermined value which is agreed by both Alice and Bob before encryption and decryption. So Alice and Bob fixes on a value K1 which is known to both of them. So the key stream starts with this K1 value. The next value is P1 that is the first character of the plain text followed by P2 which is the second character of the plain text, P3 and so on. So we can see in the key stream we start with K1 which is secretly determined by both Alice and Bob and then we append the plain text to this K1. So the key stream is automatically generated once we know the value of K1 and the plain text since it is a combination of K1 followed by the plain text characters, thus giving it its name auto key cipher that is the key is automatically generated once the value of K1 and the plain text is known to us. Here also the domain of key K is Z26. Now let's look at the encryption and decryption algorithm of auto key cipher. Let's start with the encryption algorithm. So the encryption algorithm of auto key cipher is CI equal to PI plus KI mod 26. So here we can see for generating the ith character of the cipher text, we require the ith character of the plain text and the ith character of the key stream. So for generating C1, we do P1 plus K1 mod 26. Similarly, for generating C2, we do P2 plus P1 mod 26 and so on. This was about encryption. Let's look at the decryption algorithm. So the decryption algorithm is PI equal to CI minus KI mod 26. Similar to the encryption algorithm, for generating the ith character of the plain text, we require both the ith character of the cipher text and the ith character of the key stream. So for P1 to generate, we require C1 minus K1 mod 26 and for P2, we do C2 minus P1 mod 26 and so on. This was a mathematical definition of the auto key cipher. Let's represent it visually to understand it better. So here we have Alice with her plain text and cipher text and here we have Bob with his plain text and cipher text and both are connected via an insecure public channel. Now let's see how Alice encrypts the message using the auto key cipher. So Alice takes a plain text and represents it as a stream of characters represented by P1, P2, P3 and so on. Now for encrypting she will require the key stream. So she will generate the key stream. So the first character of the key stream is K1 which is predetermined by both Alice and Bob and shared between each other. The next value of the key is P1 which is the first character of the plain text followed by P2, P3 and so on. So now we have the key stream here. Now Alice takes the plain text stream and the key stream and provides it to a bitwise addition operation which is limited by mod 26. So here 26 represents that the output should be within Z26 that is we apply the mod 26 operator after the bitwise addition. So what does the bitwise addition do? It takes the first character of the plain text that is P1, adds with the first character of the key that is K1 and then applies the mod 26 operator. So it is P1 plus K1 mod 26. Similarly for the second character that is P2 plus P1 mod 26 and so on. In this way it generates the ciphertext stream which is represented by C1, C2, C3 and so on. Where C1 is equal to P1 plus K1 mod 26, C2 is equal to P2 plus P1 mod 26 and same operation goes for all other characters. Now this stream represents the ciphertext. Now this ciphertext is sent to Bob 
by an insecure public channel. Now Bob has the ciphertext. Now for decrypting, Bob represents the ciphertext as a stream of characters represented by C1, C2, C3 and so on. Now Bob takes the ciphertext stream and the key stream and gives it to a bitwise negation operation which is limited by mod26 operator. So similar to the bitwise addition operation, in decryption we have the bitwise negation operation. So what it does, it takes C1, it subtracts K1 and applies mod26 that is C1 minus K1 mod26, similarly C2 minus P1 mod26 and so on. In this way it generates a plain text stream which is represented by P1, P2, P3 and so on. Where P1 is equal to C1 minus K1 mod26 P2 is equal to C2 minus P1 mod26 and so on. In this way Bob has successfully decrypted the cipher text and received the plain text. Here the key stream is shared using an secure key exchange channel. So this was a visual representation of the auto key cipher. I hope you are now able to visualize the working of the auto key cipher using this diagrammatic representation. So having understood this, let's do some cryptanalysis of the auto key cipher. So an auto key cipher hides a single letter frequency statistics from the cipher text. Let's understand this using an example. So suppose we have the following example, where the plain text is attack, which is encrypted using auto key cipher to the following cipher text, where the key K1 is 12. Let's do the frequency analysis of the plain text and cipher text. So here the frequency of the letter A is 2, T is also 2, C is 1 and K is 1. Now let's do the same for the cipher text. So here the frequency of letter M is 3, T is 2 and C is 1. So here we can see in the plain text the distribution is 2, 2, 1, 1 whereas in cipher text the distribution is 3, 2, 1. So you can see there is no relationship between the frequency of the characters of the plain text to the frequency of the characters in the cipher text which implies that it hides the frequency statistics from the cipher text. So it is not prone to a statistical attack. However, the key K1 can take only 25 values that is from 1 to 25 since the domain of key is Z26. So your K1 can take only values from 1 to 25 that are only 25 values can be taken by K1 which is a small key domain and hence it is vulnerable to a brute force attack. And hence there is a need of a cipher which has a larger key domain. This was all about auto key cipher. In the next video we will solve an example covering both encryption and decryption using auto key cipher. So that's it for the video guys. Thanks for watching the video and if you have any doubts, please do let us know in the comment section below and if you have found the video helpful, then do like and share the video with your friends and subscribe to be the best channel for more such videos. Meet you in the next video of the CSC series. Bye bye.